In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 most anticipated games coming to retail or available to purchase in 2024. Let's get right into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Clayton and before diving right into this video, I just want to mention that all the games that I'm about to talk about, I do believe are coming to retail or will be available to purchase sometime in 2024. However, there are some games on this list that I'm not aware of if they are going to crowdfunding or not. I know one of them for sure is hitting crowdfunding very soon, but I do believe it will still be available in 2024. With that being said, let's get right into the first game. Nat Terra, A New Beginning. A game where there are different animal tribes that will explore and take control of a post-humanity world. Players will control a very unique tribe leader and explore, build, authority and take control of four district areas now honestly i don't know too much about this game but it does sound like a very unique game i love the theme and the mechanics that it has listed before sounds like it's going to be like an area control game where there is a tech tree where you can develop different skills and it just sounds like a really neat game photo tour north america now just based off the artwork alone this game reminds me a lot of earth but it's a completely different game the only thing that they have similar in common is the fact that the cards that you gain can kind of chain off one another but in this game there is a board where you're traveling to to take different photos of different special landmarks and you're using different vehicles to get there planes trains and you have also different photo equipment, cell phones, tripods, things like that. And they can be placed on cards, giving you extra bonuses. All the cards look like they have very cool abilities. And it's kind of like an engine building game because you are taking cards and you want them to chain together to give you a bunch of points at the end of the game. If you can, I have seen gameplay of the game and it looks like an absolute blast. Now for my next game, it is a game that is available to pre-order already. It was just announced a few weeks ago and that is a different take on Wingspan and that is Wormspan. This is a dragon version instead of birds and this one has some very different unique elements to the game. The fact that you're using caves instead and you must attract different dragon types to those caves. It pretty much plays very similar to Wingspan but there's some differences in the game to make it its very own unique version. Plus it's dragons, which is awesome. It looks cool. If you like Wingspan, then you're probably definitely gonna enjoy this one as well. I am personally not gonna probably buy this one, but my brother is definitely into it, so I will get a chance to play this one. But I'm a big Wingspan fan, so this one is an absolute must for me to table this year. Now for this next game, I've heard incredible good reviews for it. I really wanna play it, and that is the Veil of Eternity. Players are tamers who hunt various monsters and spirits to tame them as minions. In this fantasy world, creatures are living in harmony. Among them are dragons that are the most valuable and noble ones. Each round, players will have three phases. The hunting phase, where they will draft two cards from the game board. An action phase, where they can take a number of different actions, including selling cards, taming, or summoning cards. And the last phase is the resolution phase, where players are resolving different action effects of the cards that are being summoned. Honestly, if you're into card drafting, then I think this game must be a must because I haven't really heard too many bad things. It looks like it plays fast, very unique card different abilities, Tons of replayability to it. This is definitely on my most wanted list. Cafe Barras. Build your own cozy cafe and turn your drop-in customers into regulars. There's card drafting, tableau building, brought to you by the same team that has brought you Creature Comfort and Maple Valley. Now, personally for me, this is a want game for me because uh, my family really enjoys Creature Comfort. I didn't pick up Maple Valley because I just didn't think that game was more for my kids, it would be more for a game that's for my wife and I, but it wasn't that heavy that I wanted to buy it for myself. But this one also looks like it's another good family lightweight game that I want to add to my collection. Moving on to a game that I should actually get pretty soon from Kickstarter by IV Studios, and that is Fractured Sky. A game of deception and sneaky strategic play. 
you are using airships and players are sending them to different regions to collect different star shards. Over time, players will increase their presence on different islands by placing different permanent buildings to give them advantage and extra resources and increase the size of their troop numbers. IV Studios always does great production when it comes to their board games. I actually backed this one through Kickstarter and I've got a shipping notification so I should get this one in the next few weeks here. The reason why I am really looking forward to this one is because of the unique mechanisms such as bluffing by putting out different airships to different locations but each airship will have a magnet number on them and depending where you actually want to put your airship you can trick other players to think that you actually want to go one way when you are going another. Plus, there's tons of different ways to gain points, such as different objectives that you're trying to complete as well. The game looks pretty awesome. Can't wait for this one. Another game that looks super awesome, in my opinion, that I also backed through Kickstarter is a game called Mistwind by First Fish Games. This is actually more like a pickup delivery game where you are using these flying whales to collect different resources and delivering them to different locations. There's also personal objectives that players are trying to complete, as well as public objective. I play tested this, I played it multiple times, I super enjoy this game, and I honestly can't wait for the final version. Production's underway and the artwork is looking awesome. Taking a break from Kickstarter for this next game, I do believe it should be hitting retail. I don't think it's coming to crowdfunding. It's set to be released in 2024. And that is Invincible, the hero building game. A fuse of bag building and tableau building that allows you to create and customize your own hero each game. Now I love bag building games, push your luck games, it adds for a ton of fun when it is done right and it's also by Dieworth Digital which has made some incredible games in my opinion. I think this game will be really fun to play, I'm a big fan of the IP, the mechanics sound awesome and I just can't wait to learn more about this. Now moving on to another game that I backed through Game Found by Awaken Realms. This is Pokemon but with like dragons and monsters and that is Dragon Eclipse. Now this one looks absolutely amazing as well if you're into campaign games because you're going to be playing through this narrative story, gaining different monsters to your party and then going into battle to fight even more harder creatures. And what makes it so challenging is because sometimes you fight a monster that you want to tame and add to your party. but it might be too hard, so it's just best to knock out that monster and continue on with the story. It's by Awaken Realm, so you know the production is going to be probably a 10 out of 10. Amazing artwork as well. Really excited to give this one a shot. This is something I would also think my family would really enjoy when my kids are just a little bit older. Now, for my final game, it's probably no surprise if you're a fan of the channel. You know how much of a big Marvel nerd that I am, so I'm super excited to receive Marvel X-Men and Marvel Missions. I also backed this one through Kickstarter. It's Dice Throne, which I'm a fan of, and it has some awesome, unique X-Men characters that I just can't wait to play. Honestly, I wasn't really going to pick up Marvel Missions, but because so many got unlocked, I think it only started with five and it ended up getting to like 12 or 13 different villains that you can fight against. Made it worth it for me to pick this one up as well. Plus, it's a cooperative game that I could play with my kids who also love Marvel. So this one was a no brainer for me to back as well. Plus Deadpool. Deadpool is one of my favorite Marvel characters and I wanted him from the beginning since Marvel Dice Stone was announced. So I'm so happy to have him as a playable character. Just can't wait to try all the new characters out. Let me know what games you guys are looking forward to in the comment section down below that are coming out this year. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.